Welcome to Sue Online. Today we're at the East Core of Maxwell Church with Dale Ingram. Dale, yeah, tell me, why are we here today? We're having International oh. Tea Day for Net Cancer. And could you go a little bit further with that? Like, uh, it's, it's specified to carcinoid, carcinoid cancer. cancer. Yes. C could you tell us a little bit about carcinoid cancer? Um, carcinoid cancer is a rare cancer that um, it's one of the cancers that falls under the umbrella of net cancers. Okay, and how prevalent is it? About one in five, uh, or five in 150,000 people would get that cancer. We've had two people in our family. Where can the donations be made? If they can't make it to the T, they can donate straight to the Canadian Cancer Society and designate it to carcinoid cancer. Okay. Now, what's going to happen here? Well, we're going to have um, information out about the cancer. Uh, we have uh, tea and all kinds of goodies. There's coffee. It's just more tea and talk. Okay. Uh, are some of these people, have some of these people been struck Cancer. My daughter has been has carcinoid cancer, and my nephew we lost to carcinoid cancer six years ago. Okay, can we talk to Holly? We sure can. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Holly. Hi. Oh, when did you first? How old were you when you first noticed there was a, a change in your body? I was 36. 36? And, and what symptoms did you have? I had a quick onset of pain uh, high in my abdomen. It was totally different than any pain I've had before. And it just came on? Like it did. Out of nowhere. And uh, how easy was it to get work there? If I might, I might use that uh, term at the hospital. When, well, we had a little bit of trouble. The doctor thought that maybe it was just a, a small bowel blockage and wanted to send me home on the intense. And I felt that there was something worse wrong. I pushed for a CAT scan. And when the doctor came back in, he had his head powered down, and he said, you have a tumor on your bowel, and it has spread to your liver. And then he walked out. And that was it? That was it. And how did you manage to... Get it fixed up. Are you in remission now? Or? I'm stable. I'm on medications one week, but I um, have injected. And it's keeping the cancer to where it's not spreading and it's not shrinking. So we're just stable. Okay. Is there anything else that they can do for it? There's a new clinical trial starting that I want to be a part of. Um, it takes medication and injects it right into the tumor and it will explode the tumor. But it needs funding. Okay, uh, now, uh, like your mom said, it's not very prevalent in society. It's, it, how many, how many? In North America last year, 306 people were diagnosed with net cancers. And, and the research, how? Uh, There's very little, very little research. I mean, the because it's not so prevalent. Uh, but it, uh, if you take breast cancer, for example, 24,000 women were diagnosed with breast cancer last year. So in comparison to 306 mm -hmm. of the nets, of course the money's going to go home. Okay. To and, where there's more people. And, and we're here to make some money for we some are. research. We're here to make some money. Okay, I wish you the best of luck. And thank, thank you. you very much for talking to us. Thank now you. we have uh, Wendy Walker with us. You've been in with... Yeah, we've, awesome. we've been touched with it. Um, we lost our son to carcinoid in 2008. And he was he was 29 years old? Yes. Yeah. Just one week short of turning 30. And, and what were his symptoms? Did, how long before that did he notice a change? His was very short. Um, he started with a, he actually had a, a bowel bleed, a small bowel bleed. And he went to the doctor and uh, blood in the stool and um, they diagnosed the tumor within two months. It took them a little while to find what was going on because at first they just thought it was a GI ready. And then he had more pain and they uh, did a CAT scan and they found the tumor and then 
he had a surgery, he had a but from when he was diagnosed to when he passed away was only 10 months. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people that funding? Um, just that it's such a rare uh, cancer that uh, the research doesn't get done and research money goes to the big cancers, the common ones that uh, we're all aware of, but there are a lot of lesser cancers that need the research as well so that uh, the, uh, the, uh, the cures can be found and uh, people don't have to suffer. We're really lucky that in the five years from when Mark was diagnosed to Polly was diagnosed, there's been uh, a good amount of um, progress made and Holly has been done really well for two years, so that's a blessing. Okay, thank you very much. All right. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Mike. It's Mike Crusoe for Sue Online. Thank you.